so what does normalization means normalization means dividing the table into different table or a smaller table such that we can reduce the insertion updation and deletion anomalies what does one uh, one nf says that one nf says that what does it mean that each column should be having one value so if you have defined one column and whatever the data type so all the values in different rows should all, always have the same uh, data type uh, value only each row should be unique which says that each row should have a primary key there should not be table inside table so now here if you see well, let's take this example let's say we have one column called order id then we have item then we have price now let's say so one thing is each column should be atomic so is this an atomic no each column has multiple values here so this is not fulfilling the first point itself here if you say it is like table inside a table okay so this is also not justifying the one nf so to make this in one nf what we have to do is we have to fulfill all the criteria so we can easily do this order id item price so 123 dsa 100 123 system design 100 let like this so now here if you see that this justify all the four points of one nf but here if you see there are multiple anomalies like anomalies like if you say that can you insert another item let's say that networking if you want to add another item into this can you add it so there is an insertion anomaly insertion anomaly in the sense that you have to put like here null here you have to put networking and here you have will put it price let's say 250 so what i'm trying to say that insertion anomaly says that you would not be able to insert an item in this table until and unless you don't have an order for it okay so you can't insert an item similarly there is an deletion anomaly deletion, deletion anomaly means let's say that i have uh, this order id i have to remove okay this order id i have to remove as soon as i remove it so here if you see the os record is also gone okay so i so there is a lo loss of data here okay so th with this one nf there is a deletion anomaly also and also is like updation anomaly the updation anomaly says that okay if i want to change the price of a dsa from 150 to 120 so i have to change multiple rows so this is prone to error now let's understand 2 nf table should be in 1 nf so here if you see from the previous 1 nf i told you that let's say this is the table which is already in 1 nf and it has all the three issues which is insertion updation and deletion anomaly if i want to if i want to add a new item let's say that networking it's not uh, possible until i have an order and similarly updation deletion also has an issue so why there is an issue in this because it do not fulfill the 2 nf which second property says that all non key all non key columns should be fully functional dependent on primary or composite key so what is the meaning of functional dependent so function dependent means that the value of one column attribute able to determine the value of another column so here if you see that in this table 
this two forms a composite key and this quantity this quantity value is fully functional means fully on both the column of the composite key it's not partial just order id or item on both the column of a composite key that's why it said it's a fully functional dependent on primary or composite key so that's okay quantity is okay it is fulfilling this uh, this one does price is fulfilling this uh, fully functional uh, property is this price depend on uh, both the columns of a composite key no price is only dependent on item so this column is not fulfilling this property and hence it is breaking the two nf so to fix this we can divide it okay so we can uh, divide it like that's all so now here if you say that all the three anomalies insertion updation deletion is solved insertion if i want to add networking here you can simply add it you don't have to wait for an order if you want to update it uh, let's say that uh, update the price of the sd from 150 to 170 you can easily do it without affecting the existing orders and also you want to delete a particular order let's say i want to delete a particular this order you do not lose any data system design is still there now consider this use case that you have order id okay then you have let's say name or order by just say that uh, name okay now here you have something called i am creating invoice template id let's say and template font okay and currently i am saying that uh, one particular unique order can have only have a one invoice template right you can you can have multiple ways to showcase your invoice so different templates but one can one order can have only one invoice template okay now what is the primary key here primary key here is your order id only one not a composite key here only one so mean this only uniquely identifies the row okay and all here this is your non key attribute this is your non key attribute this is your also non key attribute and this is the only primary key so as per the 2nf it should be in 1 1nf yes it is 1nf second property says that all the non key attribute should be functional dependent on the primary one fully functional dependent on the primary key means this attribute should be uniquely identified its value if i have this i can compute this if i have one two three yes i can compute this value if i have one two three yes i can also compute this what is the invoice template id if i have one two three i can also compute what is the name here if you see the problem here is it has transitive dependency transitive dependency means here if you see that a b c b is dependent on a and c is dependent on b okay so here in this case if uh, currently only one primary key so it's satisfied two enough but if you further look into this the font is not actually dependent on order id it is actually dependent on invoice template id and we have to resolve this transitive dependency so we can resolve it like we have order id right so these are directly directly dependent on this primary key now here another column i have invoice template id and the font so here i have like it1 it2 currently it's arial and this is roman okay so here we have this as a primary key and now it is dependent on this so i have resolved the transitive dependency which was earlier like this but it didn't cache through to nf because 
uh, here we don't have a composite key template id in the composite key only order id is there so that's why it didn't able to catch it up okay so we have to find this transitive dependency if it is present we have to divide it like this